The Emulates team engineer and create what they called a human on a chip, multiple different organ systems that could come together to predict human biology and human response to chemicals and drugs. We micro-engineer the inside of this so that we can inject living human cells into this. And these cells think they're in the body and they sort of self-organize into these functional tissues. And it allows us to make uh, very functional measurements on these cells. The potential impact of this technology is great and far-reaching. It can help us predict not just efficacy and safety of drugs in humans, but also the technology has the potential to en en enable insights into the biology driving mechanisms of multiple diseases. For example, neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's. The project that we're working on is the blood-brain barrier chip. The blood-brain barrier, it actually separates your blood from your brain so that molecules can't just diffuse into your brain. One of the biggest challenges that drug developers have is they actually have to get their molecules across the blood-brain barrier. So understanding how that barrier functions is really important for people just trying to develop therapies. The ability to study this in the space station and in microgravity is going to directly enhance our understanding of key aspects of brain function, the blood-brain barrier, that we'll then can use back here on Earth. Removing the force of gravity can pinpoint specific targets for a new way to open up the blood-brain barrier so that drugs can get across, or maybe to close it back up in cases where there's been damage due to something. Watching the chips go off in a rocket into a space station, that's wild and exciting. But all that excitement aside, I think, truly believe we're going to get biological understanding of how the blood-brain barrier and the brain function that will help us drive the development of new therapeutics.